South Korea celebrates the living oceans and coastlines. Yosu Expo 2012, with its village of pavilions, shows the country's determination to raise global awareness of the need for marine protection. Decorated with a symbol of the Korean flag, the pavilion of the host country has one of the more eye-catching designs on the Expo site. Once inside, the visitors, who will be flocking here for the next three months, are invited to take part in a traditional dance before being shown a video on the huge dome screen which measures 30 meters in diameter. The futuristic sea orbiter of designer Jacques Rougery is central to the French pavilion. The prototype uses currents to drift across the ocean. It's a vessel which can sail along the Gulf Stream with 18 passengers on board who can gaze below the surface. The building of the sea orbiter could start before the end of the year. Visitors to the Spanish pavilion enter a darkened space, illuminated by the changing lights of the tubes with samples of water collected 5,000 meters below the surface. Italy celebrates its ancient marine republics alongside its newest technologies for exploring the sea and the recovery of artistic artifacts are high-definition holographic projections, all attracting the visitors. The German pavilion takes visitors on a virtual journey from the country's coast to the ocean floor, highlighting that the pollution of the sea often starts elsewhere. This is a sample of waste which was found in the Rhine River in Germany and it shows us that the problem of the waste in the sea starts in our rivers. Visitors come mainly from South Korea or from neighboring Asian countries, but there are also international tourists. When you go inside a lot of the pavilions and you see some of the science and the predictions that can come about with the science, I find that fascinating. My background is in science, so I'm intrigued by that. My number one thing is the architecture. Like, I'm just amazed by the whole infrastructure of the expo site. Um, but second, I like just seeing all the different countries represented and getting an idea of places that I never even knew about. So. With 11,000 kilometers of coast, South Korea has always had a very strong connection to the sea. And when marine resources start to diminish, the problem doesn't pass unnoticed. It's early morning in the village of Gunearia, about 30 kilometers from the expo. Fishermen from the nearby islands come to sell their catch in what is the biggest fish market that supplies the city of Yosu. Some of the older fishermen complain that the catch is not as good as it used to be. The rising sea temperatures and the red tide are the main problems. It's worse during the summer when our catch is low. It's a problem which exists through all the supply chain. That's from the fishermen to distributors to the vendors. Compared to three or four years ago, wild fish are becoming a rarity. I think this is mainly the result of climate change. Moreover, the demand largely exceeds supply, and that drives the prices higher, causing a problem for us. Intensive fishing and pollution have contributed to impoverish marine life. Problems which have been known about for a long time. Now there is a relatively new threat to the oceans, known as acidification. The ocean is becoming more acid, and it's in fact now 30% more acid since the Industrial Revolution. And there's a possibility, if we keep going on business as usual, that the ocean will be 150% more acid. And if there were ever a reason for countries to decrease carbon dioxide emissions, this has to be one of the biggest reasons. Man is responsible for the degradation of the sea. Yet the Expo shows how the sea may provide answers to some global problems, from water shortage to the quest for alternative energy sources. The sea will provide us with the resources we need to guarantee the survival of all humankind. This is the key message of the Yosu Declaration that will be signed on the last day of the Expo. Organizers rely on digital technology, light effects and water cannons to convey the message of harmony with the sea. The show at the Big O, the landmark structure of the Expo, 
is designed to make a long and lasting impression.